Okay, here's another wow video. It's part 284C3MN. And it's line 22F1FA19C3MN. Lame stress ellipsoid. More math equations. UFO 5G wow study. So this is going to be research and math equations for the UFO spaceship exterior and inner core designs to be filmed. Okay, so there's the alien radio signal there. The keywords for Morse circle method is November 15, 2012, and I was working on it. Today is November 23rd. Google Lane's extress ellipsoid. So quotes from Wiki, oh, quotes and diagrams are from Wiki. Lame stress ellipsoid figure coming is an alternative to Morse circle for the graphical representation of the stress state at a point. The surface of the ellipsoid represents the locus of the endpoints of all stress vectors acting on all planes passing through a given point in the continent body. In other words, the endpoints of all stress vectors at a given point in the continent body lie on the stress ellipsoid surface. The radius factor from the center of the ellipsoid located at the material point in consideration to a point on the surface of the ellipsoid is equal to the stress factor on some plane passing through the point. In two dimensions, the surface is represented by an ellipse. So here's a, a diagram here. The assignment of a semi-axis on a spheroid, it, it, Li is oblate if C is less than A and prolate if C is greater than A. Here's an oblate spheroid, a prolate spheroid. Quotes in Wiki, a spheroid or ellipsoid or of revolution is a quadric surface obtained by rotating an ellipse about one of its principal axes, in other words, an ellipsoid with two equal semi diameters. If the ellipse is rotated about its major axis, the result is a prolate, elongated spheroid like an American football or rugby ball. If the ellipse is rotated about its minor axis, the result is an oblate, flattened spheroid like a lentil. If the generating ellipse is a circle, the result is a sphere. Spheroid math equations. The equation of a triaxial ellipsoid centered at the origin uh, with semi-axis ABC aligned along the coordinate axis is. And that's the equation there. The equation of a spheroid with Oz as the symmetry axis is given by the setting A equals B. The semi-axis A is the equatorial radius of the spheroid, and C is the distance from center to pole along the symmetry axis. There are two possible cases. Okay, so we already covered those. Um, it reduces to a sphere. So November 15th, my thoughts. The prolate spheroid math equation would be used for the outside shell of the UFO spaceship, and the oblate spheroid for the inner core area of the UFO spaceship designs. So this is for your outside shell. No, oh, sorry. That's the inside shell because the core is going to go in the middle and all the other stuff that goes there. And this is for the outside shell, only we're going to tilt it this way so it's going this direction, okay? So that's just uh, the math equations that go with it, okay? Thanks for watching. We'll go on to the next one.